So, Flashman level is probably one of the easier levels in the game. From the start, head to the right. As you move, you'll soon notice that the surface is very slippery. Now take out the shot man, and there's a few more of them a bit further down. These guys are not a threat, but try your best to set up their line of fire. Now, we won't be able to pass that strange looking wall just yet, because we need a crash bomber to destroy it. From here, make your way back to the left, then hop down, then go to the right. Take out this long shot man, then climb up here and continue to the right. Once you reach the end of this area, defeat the shot man, then make your way down to the next screen. From here, quickly use the Mega Buster to take out the Sniper Armor, then the Sniper Joe once the armor is defeated. Don't use the metal blades on the sniper armor, they'll just bounce off. Also, you have to wait until the sniper Joe is about to fire in order to take him out. Once that's done, continue down to the next screen. Just follow the path down to the next screen. And yet, we need to go down again. Use the metal blades to take out the squirm, then continue. Keep going down. At this point, stay to the far right and take out the sniper armor and Joe. Afterwards, continue down to the next screen. After the long journey, we finally made it to the final area. At this point, we need Mega Man to stay above by going to the right and jumping from one platform to the other. So try your best not to fall. Once you reach the other side, grab the E-Tank for your collection. Now, this may take you a few attempts and if you're playing this on an emulator, then I recommend using a save state at this point for practice. Go down from here, then proceed to the right and take out the sniper armor and prepare for a boss battle. Now. This last jump can be a bit tricky, but I learned that if you let Mega Man slide a bit until he reaches the edge, tap the jump button lightly to make the jump. Flash Man is weak to Crash Bomber and Metal Blade, but you can defeat him using the Mega Buster. And if you're fast enough, you can defeat him before he uses the Time Stopper ability. The Time Stopper is very useful on Quick Man's level and Quick Man himself. So with that being said, let's make a detour and head over to Air Man for a friendly visit. <laughs> item 3 is one of the three items you receive from beating Flash Man. This item is called a Wall Climber and with it, you can reach higher heights with Mega Man. But in order for the wall climber to work, it needs a wall. Otherwise, it would simply just bounce away. Out of all the transport items, the wall climber may be the least used one, but it is very pivotal to a certain boss fight in the game. 